Hello. I'm starting to wonder if I should have drawn this, um, done this model in a clay first before I attempted the marble. Except that at the beginning I thought I would do a much simpler shape, and then I decided to complicate it because that's who I am. Uh, my biggest challenge, as I've often said in stone carving, is to have two objects touch without overlapping and without having space between them when you're finished with a carving, because this is a reduction process and you only have one shot at it. And I'm a direct carver, which means that I don't use a model, I draw directly on the stone and carve away what's, what's not in the intended design. Um, but you can see I'm having a little bit of a problem here. Uh, part of it is because da and from the beginning I didn't intend for her to have this arm. I was going to have it, the shape go up as a triangle and I felt the arm was not necessary for the design or for the emotional message I was trying to purvey, c convey. However, as I got developing her body, I realized I was moving away from the design that I originally started with. And that's never a good thing to change your mind when you're trying to carve something and have one shot at it. But it's who I am. It's what I do. I always think the abstract will be interesting. And then I feel like it's interesting for two seconds. And then I stop looking at it because it's just I want to see the next thing. Um, and to be fair, I like the intellectual challenge of can I pull this off? I wouldn't want to do a model of this first and then carve a copy of it because that would be doing the same thing twice. And the whole thing of measuring from, okay, go X, Y, Z or X, Y, Z, depending on your nationality, I guess. Um, and then cu cutting and measuring all this. I don't enjoy measuring and I don't enjoy that kind of precision and stuff, which is kind of a weird thing to say, except that... Um, I like the art that I come up with, and my process is slower than most sculptors, so it's going to be a little harder to make a living at this, but uh, here I am still after 20-something years. Uh, anyway, um, so the problem I'm having now is that because I chose to give her an arm here, I keep having to move it forward because if you see the design here in the front... I've taken her body and it's twisting towards him. So this doesn't make any sense when you look straight on to something like the flash washes out the face in a photo. But I usually work on the bird's eye view. So I have taken her body and I've twisted it. Do you see how I put the car on the breast here? I'm twisting her body. Her arm is going back a little bit, but it won't physically it doesn't go back as much as you think it would. But you can see the tilt I've got to her head and his head. But her body is twilting this, just twisting this way. That means that the shoulder also has to be back here, and this shoulder has to be more forward. So coming da back down, um, trying to create an arm that I didn't have marble left over for because I didn't design for it. But you can see I carved off quite a bit of this this area here before. But now I'm still trying to move the hair back. I'm giving her a ponytail that I want to have it swoosh over her shoulder. But her shoulder needs to connect up to her torso because what is happening is I'm realizing how slender this body must be at this size, this proportion. And if I had an arm way over here, it would end up not being connected to her torso. And that's a no-go. Um, I'm still trying to get in some shape here because one of the things that I personally don't like is when you look at the sculpture and your eye instantly fills in that it was a block. It's not a bad thing, it's just my personal aesthetic. So I want to get enough curve in here to make that sort of go away. I don't know if I'm going to pull that off on this, but um, you know, I've, I've got some curve into her body, but maybe I can push a little bit more of this. It may also help when that's not there, but you know, part of the problem is I've got his bum at the same level as his shoulders. But I'm trying to say that he would be leaning, tell myself that he would be leaning into her with anticipation. So therefore the shoulders can go down, uh, can go in and leave the bum sticking out. Because really she's got to have a nice big bum, so we'll see what happens. But on the other hand, I really kind of like this push-pull idea that his shoulders are back, but his hands are forward. So, hmm, all these little discussions in my head, you see? <laughs> this is why I never get anywhere. All right, and the whole thing started with this because 
these blocks of hand, you see, I've left them at the natural surface here because I knew that they was going to have fingers sticking out because let's be fair, for an idea such as anticipation, also my original drawing, you, d you have to have Bob Fosse hands. You don't do anticipation like this is <laughs> a different emotion from, ooh, <laughs> right? <laughs> so you, he, he's, he's supposed to be saying, woohoo, I can't wait <laughs> for what's about to happen or maybe what is happening if you see how I did my, change my drawing to be woo, woo, woo. Anyway, this is a different emotion. Although in a marble piece this small, I may not be able to separate the fingers and so I may have to change the design, but, um, <laughs> woohoo, except the voice would be deeper because it's a man. <laughs> so anyway, I'm being goofy, but, um, emotion is what rocks my world, pardon the stone carver's pun. So a lot of times my emotion tells me whether I'm on the right track or not on the right track as it should for you. Uh, so getting back to this. I, I want the hand to reach out in front of her body a little bit, the fingers and stuff. So um, to do that, I had to have the block here, but I wasn't sure how high or low they would be, and I'm developing this, and again, I only have one shot. But now I'm seeing that I really, I don't want a spaghetti arm here, because that's what happens when you don't have bone underneath your flesh. You get something that just... People may or may not recognize why it doesn't look right, but it won't sit right with them, and um, it's because you've forgotten the skeleton that has to still be existing there. So if I've decided the shoulders are here and the wrist is here to give me space for fingers, because I don't necessarily want all the fingers to come out to the same level because that does that block thing I was telling you about. Her tummy could be the part that sticks out and makes a block from this form. Her breasts are likely too big, but that's better than being too small at this point because I'm an, in a reduction process uh, for the carving. It's not clay. I don't put it back later. Um, so I want to get some straightness into the, the crux of this deltoid here coming down. Um, and I've got a fairly wide arm here because I want him to be a strong guy, right? So usually if I'm going to err on one side or the other, I make the shoulders more broad on a man and the bum smaller and do the opposite on women, smaller at the top and wider at the bo bottom, because it's an interesting dynamic. And, and it's, you know, if you're, again, if you're going to caricature something, you should you know, well, I don't want to caricature, but if I'm going to err on one side or the other, especially on a small sculpture, it's easy to screw up the proportion on a small sculpture because one little tiny chip of marble goes away. All right, so I'm rambling too much about stuff, but I'm trying to move her shoulder forward. I want to keep her ponytail where it comes out over here, so I'm trying to leave some of that. This is likely, as I said, going to be smaller and I don't know that I want this back some because, again, her body's twisting this way. And so I need this to be further out than the other breast, but I don't necessarily want it lining up with the stomach. And it may not do that, depending on point of view. Uh, obviously, at some point of view, everything lines up like that, you see. Um, but anyway, okay, so I move her shoulder forward, and I'm going to cut off some of this stuff, because again, her, sh her body needs to be more in front and let it go back towards his body. So that gives me this bit of marble here I can play with, and that allows me to give him an arm, the upper arm, which is fine, because the upper arm is going to taper to the elbow. Now, another thing I wanted to point out is that um, the when you're doing this woo -hoo, <laughs> anticipation stuff, I want to, to talk about anatomy of the arm. So if you look at my hand right now, it's coming out in front of my body, obviously, because I'm not dislocating that just for a demo. Um, all right. Look at the vein that's in my elbow, because I don't have three ha arms or three hands to demonstrate this and hold a camera. But um, I should have got the tripod out. In fact, I just didn't think this would be such a long video. Anyway, look at the vein in my the crook of my elbow. Do you see where it's pointing out? It's pointing to my left diagonally, about a 45 degree angle facing. But And look at where my hand is. My hand is coming out straight, even if I do the aha straight, okay? But I'm not doing that because I wanted a twist. So he's going to be, ooh, like this, okay? Now, look at how my arm twists. Do you see how it does the twist there? It goes from being to the left to pointing straight out in front of me. Oh no, it's raining. That's fantastic. 
But look how it's not so gray. It's not going to rain much, but at least it's something. Woohoo! We haven't had rain for such a long time. It was such a warm winter that um, it's really been devastating to the plants and the insects are out crazy. Oh, look! My ugly umbrella, <laughs> but. And my Adam piece, Atlas piece. Okay, so. What I mean is, because I've decided to change the geometrical form of this body, I ended up putting in some rock and roll of the shapes and stuff and not making it quite so graphic design looking. And that means that I've got to have soft flesh touching soft flesh. Her body needs to be pushing into his forearm here because she's leaning into him and towards him. And his arm is going around her body to do the, the woohoo in front, you know. So, these are the things that I'm thinking to do uh, right now, is to f solve this problem. I've got to get her body more slender because of the dimensions that it is. She's not going to be so wide, really, and I have to leave space for him to have a body. And as I mentioned um, before, or maybe in the other video, I did a vertical version of this that's much shorter if you prefer that. Um, his chest it needs to be larger than his hips for the idea of a masculine body, whereas she's the opposite. Her hips should be larger than the top of her torso for the feminine counterpart. Um, so I've got the space in the marble. It's just, the thing is, when you start big and you work small, sometimes, at least for me, it's difficult for me to realize, oh yeah, they're only going to be so big. You know, if I put a Barbie doll here and it's for the height, I realize, wow, they're really so big and, and whatever. But... I don't, I like the bigger figures and stuff like that, but you can see the heads are too big right now. And they'll come around. I'd rather have it too big than too small for obvious reasons. So this is what I'm working on now is designing, I'm redrawing this arm to pull it forward. And, um, I, yeah, so it could be that it's even going to come over this far. Um, because again, she needs to be slender, but I need to not over exaggerate it either because she's not really going to have an arm there because I didn't design one intentionally in the beginning. And so there's no, there's no stone to actually give her some depth, but I can pull it out behind her as fast as possible and see what I can do. But my main hope is that the, the idea is so well developed that most people don't even notice that she doesn't really have her arm. And if they do, and they can I decide that I'm sending it back to be in toward his front. They'll go, ooh, la, la, that's even more naughty. <laughs> okay, time to draw, and then time to carve. And look, listen, I think the rain, no, it's still raining, but it's softer now. It'll go away soon, but sad, but this is so nice. And I'm taking advantage of this perfect day, because I know July and August are going to come here, and I won't be able to do this again for a, a while. I'll just come out in the evenings. Ciao, ciao. Leave your comments, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and if you like, go check out my finished artworks at uh, borsheimarts.com. Thank you for watching. Ciao, ciao. Share.